stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stand. Remain standing. We're going to do the Rotary four-way test, and all the things we say and do, is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? And we have the blessing from John Louis. Dear Lord, we come here today with the theme of service. Our Rotary Club is based on our service to make the world a better place. Today we honor those students who have given service to the community over this past year. We ask for your blessings to be bestowed on these students, and we also ask for blessings on their parents and others who have shown and encouraged these individuals through their own examples of giving back to the community in their daily lives. We ask for your blessings on our armed forces, our local police and fire, and those others who provide service to our country and community, keeping us safe and providing us the freedoms and rights we enjoy today. We pray that through our service, we're able to help others in the world that are not as fortunate and that we can help make their lives better. We ask you to help these students grow as they move into high school and college and that they will continue to serve others. We ask for your prayers to help them get through their finals and hopefully all make the Dean's List. <laughs> Let us share in this meal together and try to live the Rotary Rule in all that we do. Will it bring goodwill and better friendships? Amen. 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 You may be seated. Well, that's the typical way we start our uh, Rotary meetings. We always start with the pledge. And can I still have your attention? Um, welcome to Rotary. Just to tell you a little bit about what is Rotary, for those of you who don't know. Rotary was started about 100 years ago here in Chicago by businessmen who wanted to get together to build friendships, to help each other in their businesses, and to give back to the community. Today, 100 years later, Rotary has redefined the sense of community. Rotary International is located in Evanston, and they have added women, like myself, and all the people of the world to the club. There's about 1.52 million Rotarians across the world, and we're all uni united behind that one motto, service before self. I have some notes in case I forget. So we're basically problem solvers, the people of action, and we're striving to create a sustainable environment in all our communities. We give humanitarian aid, it's sort of a matrix, everybody gives to everybody else, it's not a one-way street, and that is to build uh, goodwill and advance peace across the world. So what have we done? In the last, uh, um, in 1988, uh, the Rotarians across the world accepted the challenge to eradicate polio, as you can imagine. In these 40 plus years, we have vaccinated 2.5 billion children across the world. There were, from 350,000 cases a year in 1988, there were only 22 identified in 2017, and the only two countries that have polio now are Afghanistan and Pakistan. We wait about five years after we identify the last polio vaccine to call the country polio free. So we still have to have a couple of years to wait. So in the words of our founder, Paul Harris, whatever rotary may mean to each one of us, and to the world, it is by our actions that we will be remembered. This club started in 1959, and through its public charitable arm, we call it the Lake Club, Lake Forest Rotary Club Foundation, we have donated more than $1 million to causes such as this breakfast, and our signature program, Operation Warm, where we've distributed over 5,000 coats to needy children in winter in Cairo, 
in North Chicago, Waukegan, and other local communities. How do we get this done? So on your tables, we have these white boxes. Your tax deductible check or cash donation to a foundation today placed in these boxes. There are also envelopes there. You take one of those envelopes home, you can mail it to us. This will help us continue this work. Another one of our initiatives, if you reach out to the tables again, there is uh, we ask residents to join us in keeping our community clean and picking up litter. So we have these litter bags promoting this campaign and stickers that we have put in all receptacles. Earlier on today, I saw uh, one of the members of an organization called Green Minds, the lady who started Green Minds is here. So we are really grateful for what you do. And on a personal level, what makes me humble and proud is that we have inspired the high school students to start a service club called the Interact Club this year. Applause, please. <laughs> So a big thank you to all your students for showing leadership to service, to the parents who have supported you, and to my fellow Rotarians who have continued with this sustained commitment all these years. It would be an affirmation if you would consider joining the Rotary Club. Talk to anyone of the Rotarians at the table or you may go to our website, www.lflbrotary.org. You don't have to write that down. Because there should be a flyer on the table for you to take home. So consider going on the website and filling out an application and joining this club. And with that, I would like to turn it over to um, Randy Daniel. He's spearheaded this uh, student breakfast from uh, uh, Getting you all to come here for organizing every little detail, including my speech. Um, Randy? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you very much. I uh, just wanted to say thank you to all the uh, students and their parents. Uh, as you can imagine, trying to organize an event with 100 uh, teenage children and their parents involved with a male over 60 years of age sending emails out. It gets a little uh, interesting. So, uh, but anyway, it was a great pleasure to be in charge of this and uh, have the opportunity to, to recognize the youth of our community. Uh, you're the next generation of what the motto of Rotary is all about, which is service above self. And I think you're a great examples of that. Uh, I would say to all of you, continue your efforts. There are some very um, you know, junior high, younger kids here, and there's also seniors in high school. And it would be great for me as a Rotarian to see those of you who are younger here every year in terms of your commitment to this. And for those of you in high school to be involved in this as you leave high school to go to college and your adult uh, in the years ahead. So with that, I want to introduce David Hone who's going to have uh, talk a little bit about the Interact Club and really a way that you, all of you in junior high can get involved with uh, Rotary early on. Thank you. David. Thank you, Randy, and good morning to everybody. Um, before I introduce the Lake Forest Academy Interact Club and the newly formed Lake Forest High School uh, Interact Club, I'd like to just to explain to you all what is an Interact Club, okay? Uh, first, on your tables in front of you, you should have informational brochures about Interact Clubs globally, and importantly about the newly formed Lake Forest High School Interact Club about a uh, service project that's ongoing now, and importantly, how to join, okay? So please take those with you. Uh, first and foremost, what's an Interact Club? Well, Interact stands for International Action, all right? The key objective for all Interact Clubs, both here in the United States and abroad, is the form for high school students sponsored by local Rotary Clubs, like here, Lake Forest, Lake Bluff, Rotary Club. And the key objective for the clubs is to perform community service projects for those communities in need 
and importantly, and a differentiating factor, is community service overseas in countries all around the world, which is great. Okay? So the two functions of Interact Clubs, both community service, obviously, but also a social aspect. So it's a healthy and happy mix between community service and social. Okay? Now, I mentioned Interact Clubs both here and abroad. Interact Clubs have been around for a while. The first Interact Club was formed 57 years ago. And it has grown to today over 200,000 Interact Club members, high school students, right? Over 6,500 clubs, okay? In over 100 countries. It's pretty impressive. And we have just a newly, we've added to 6,500 with one Interact Club here in Lake Forest High School, okay? So, like I mentioned, today we have Lake Forest Academy Interact Club, which was formed over 20 years ago, and the newly formed three-month-old Lake Forest High School Interact Club. So what I'd like to do is call up Sarah Collins, the teacher sponsor at Lake Forest Academy. She's going to describe a little bit about the Academy's Interact Club service project and what's in the works, and then we'll hand it off to the Lake Forest High School Interact Club with Stephanie Garvey. Okay, um, Sarah Collins, thank you. Good morning. I was uh, prepared to come here the very last week of school, but when I look outside, I think it's got to be a different week of the year. It's freezing out there. Um, we at the Interact Club at Lake Forest Academy um, primarily do local service. We partner with other organizations in our school. We have Global Youth Leadership Institute, which goes to five or six countries on trips during the um, school year and in the summertime. Um, we also partner with Amnesty International, and we usually do at least one um, international fundraiser during the year. But we primarily do local service. We get on vans and we go to North Chicago, um, schools, mostly A.J. Katzenmeyer School. We do over 18 events with them during the year. We have them visit our school, we go to their school, we have enrichment days, holiday festivals, um, and we tutor at the school. We go to Nuestro Center, which is a tutoring center for Latina kids in Highwood. And we also do um, several trips to Northern Illinois Food Bank, Feed My Starving Children, Bernie's Book Bank, um, throughout the year and we have a, a wonderful program at the VA Medical Center that we've been doing for many years. Um, we're hoping to keep it alive, um, doing bingo at the um, VA hospital. So that's about what we do. Most important thing that we do is that um, we plan with our leaders and I have about six with it uh, with me today, each event and um, the purpose of the event, and then we reflect on how the event um, went. So that means it, each event, each um, experience is a high quality service for our students at the Academy. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Stephanie Garvey. I'm one of the school counselors at Lake Forest High School. Hi, I'm Gavin Hohen. I'm a sophomore at Lake Forest High School. I will be the sponsor for the new Lake Forest High School Interact Club. We will be in full swing in this, this fall. So in preparation, we are starting with a food and personal item drive in partnership with the Rotary Club and North Chicago Community Partners. We believe this drive is especially important um, because its impact is on families and students who live really close to our community. We're looking forward to more opportunities to make a positive impact in the Chicagoland area as well as internationally. This summer and fall we will be growing our membership, so any incoming freshmen, please let us know if you want to talk to us to have more information. Um, we'll be engaging in service projects while keeping this mission statement in mind. Interact Club seeks to always pursue service above self by volunteering club members' time, by demonstrating helpfulness, and understanding of others in the community. The word INTERACT stands for International Action. INTERACT Club is an international organization sponsored by the Lake Forest Lake Bluff Rotary Club. Thank you so much to the Rotary Club for supporting us and helping us get started this year. 
I'm excited to introduce the Interact Club president and founder, Gavin Hohn, who will tell you about a pilot volunteer program that he participated in this year. Uh, so good morning. Um, I started the Interact Club this fall um, alongside with the Rotary Exchange student from Ecuador. Um, so our pilot program was at the Nuestro Center in Highwood. Um, and we worked there throughout the winter time. Um, so we tutored very young elementary school students in both reading as well as math. Uh, we formed very strong bonds with them and the, student, the uh, high school students were actually able to learn um, uh, even more than they were. Um, so we formed very strong bonds with them and uh, we really look forward to doing it again next year. Thank you. Well, now the important part of the day is to recognize the winners. So uh, a couple of announcements. Number one is if you want to be on TV, look at Channel 19 next week because we're videoing the event and you'll be able to see yourself in, uh, uh, for the future. So what I'd like to do is ask the winners now to come forward and we're going to start with our seniors, the graduating seniors, and what I'd like you to do is just state your name. Uh, for the seniors, if you've got you figured out where you're going to go to college, your next education experience, tell everybody about that, and then talk about your, uh, your volunteer work this week. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'd like to ask the seniors to come up now, and then the uh, juniors get ready, sophomores get ready, freshmen, so we'll go in sequence down. But I'd like all of you to come up now and introduce yourself, if you would. While we're doing that, I'd like to also thank Andrew and his staff here at the Lake Forest Club for putting everything together. This has been a great event, Andrew. Thank you. Come on over, guys. There's no, uh, there's no order. Now, here's the trick. If you, you want to be on TV and you want to hear you, you got to talk into this mic. So hold this one and talk into that one. So come on up, guys. Don't be bashful. You're all seniors. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, Elliot, you're going to be first. Here you go. Just name where you're going to go to college or what your next opportunity is, and then what a uh, little bit about your volunteer service. All right. All right? Here you go. And hold your applause till the end. We'll do it by each grade. All right? No, no, not that much. Yeah. Okay. Come right here, both of them. Both of them? Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Okay. You here you go. Do, okay. Dual mics. This All is right. like your. You'll... You don't need to. <laughs> Sorry, Randy. Now you do because they, they, won't, they won't hear them. All right. All right. I'll speak up. Okay. Uh, my name is Elliot Sardo. I will be at NYU in the fall. And uh, through LFHS, um, I'm part of uh, academic support with um, our peer tutor program. Uh, I get to work with uh, an English language learning um, like acquisition class uh, with students who are primarily Spanish speakers. And I also do a lot of uh, like liaisonship work for NHS. Thank you. Hi. Got to use the mic. Oh, mic. So talk. There you go. You're like a rock star. Huh? There you go. Hi, my name is Caleb E. And uh, I'm going to Rice this fall, Rice University. And uh, I am the president of the Lake Forest Academy's uh, Interact Club. And my job is almost to include all the events in our schools, so including the recruiting students and sending announcements to students and also planning for the events we are going to do. Thank you. Um, hi, my name is Andy Nguyen. I'll be going to Tufts University in Boston, Massachusetts. And I plan a, a STEM curriculum and teach uh, fourth to fifth graders at AJK. Hi, my name is Megan Creek. Um, in the fall, I'm going to St. Olaf. And I volunteer at a um, elementary school in North Chicago for underserved children through our Big to Little Club at Lake Forest High School. And I also volunteer with our local art club as well as NHS. My name is Katie Pierce, and I'll be attending the University of Illinois in the fall, studying music education. Um, and I was a member of the Swing Sonatas, which is a student-formed um, jazz group. And we played numerous volunteer performances for local nursing homes, and we did lead, and we did Gorton, um, and it was a bunch of fun for us. Hi, everyone. I'm. I'm Lucy Rubenstein. I go to Lake Forest High School, and I'll be going to Boston College next, this fall. 
And um, I'm a part of Big to Little at our school. I'm on the executive board where we go to North Chicago to an elementary school. And I'm also a part of um, many organizations in the area um, serving the special needs population. Hi, I'm Erin Bowler. I'm going to Creighton University next year, and majority of my service has been through Children Bridges with Flurry Children's Hospital. Juniors, come on up. Okay. My name is Charlotte Moore. Charlotte. Oh, sorry. Okay. My name is Charlotte Moore. Uh, next year, I'm going to Barnard College, studying biology, and I volunteered for our community through playing with the swing sonatas as well. Thank you. Also, like sophomores, come on up. Come on, come on, guys. I think our video guy says stand here and talk right in here? this one both. Yeah, so you got to you got to talk in the both. So. Okay, in the both. Okay. Hi, I'm Molly Newman, and uh, the majority of my work has been with my church, First Pres, in Lake Forest, and I've helped out uh, with the rummage sale working at the auction, uh, going on the work trip every year, and just other assorted events through the church. Hi, I'm Pauline Drogi. So um, the service I've done is, as a few people have mentioned, I am a member of Big to Little, which is where we go to a school in North Chicago. And then I'm also on the executive board for um, a club called Scout Buddies, which is where we work with the special education students at our school. And then I also volunteer at Lake Forest Hospital outside of school. Uh, hi, I'm Alex. I'm from the Lake Forest Academy Interact, the vice president. Some of the volunteer I've been part of is uh, some of the partnership program with AJK and volunteered in the West Coast Center and also a newly started program to where we play uh, music at the Lake Forest Field. Hi, I'm Sophie Wayman. I am a member of the Lake Forest Academy Interact Club. I uh, primarily organized Harvest Hope, which is an enrichment day we do with the kids at AJK. Um, I also participate in the uh, STEM curriculum we have there as well as helping give backstage tours of our musical. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. I'm also a member of Lake Forest Academy's Interact Club. Um, I mainly run the AJK and STEM program where I organize STEM activities to do with the elementary school students. I get the supplies and then I also explain the science behind it. And I'm also part of like the Harvest Hope program and other aspects of the Interact Club. Center for Safety Town as well as through Human Rights Club at the high school. Hi, my name is Andrea Ernetta and the bulk of my volunteer is at Roberti Community House, which is a program in Waukegan that serves the underprivileged. And I also volunteer with our Lake Forest High School's uh, Human Rights Club. Maliha Yusuf. I'm the president of Human Rights Club at Lake Forest High School. And outside of school, I work with Kenna Foundation, an organization that helps Syrian refugees help themselves. Uh, hi, I'm Carson Ward, and most of my volunteer work comes through First Presbyterian Church with like the yearly work trips and rum and shale and whatnot. Hi, I'm Mark Smirnoff. I'm also a member of the Swing Sonatas group that performed at um, a few senior homes and other venues. Um, and I also volunteer at the Federal Healthcare Center in North Chicago. Hi, I'm Susanna Noble. Uh, the majority of my service is through First Presbyterian Church of Lake Forest. I help with the children and rummage sales and work trips. Uh, 
Uh, I'm Will Elliott. I'm also, uh, I work with First Presbyterian Church of Lake Forest. I'm on their youth leadership committee uh, organizing events and the work trip uh, this summer. Uh, inside of school, uh, I work with student council, I just elected the president of the junior class, and student to student, uh, various other things through the high school. Thank you. Hi, my name is Bridget Seymour, and a majority of my work also comes through First Presbyterian Church Lake Forest. I serve on the youth leadership team and help organize work trips and, as well as other activities for our youth. Hi, I'm Cindy Rubenstein, and through Lake Forest High School, I'm a part of Big to Little and Scout Buddies, and outside of school, I do a number of organizations helping um, individuals with special needs, um, including Special Gifts Theater, where we help kids and adults with special needs to perform a show. Hi there, I'm Connor Armstrong. I'm a sophomore at Lake Forest High School, and the majority of my service is at Bernie's Book Bank in Lake Bluff. Hi, I'm Reagan Long, and the majority of my service is through Lake Forest Hospital, and I also do other various community projects throughout the community. Hi, I'm Daphne McGarvey, and the majority of my service is through Big to Little, which is an organization through Lake Forest High School, where we go to North Chicago and serve the underprivileged kids. Yeah. And I also ask the eighth graders to follow them, so uh, we we'll get everybody up here. Again, guys, remember to get in front of the mic if you want to be big on TV. <laughs> Center as a CIT in the summer too. I volunteer at Feed My Starving Children on various occasions and just different projects that come up along the way. Hi, um, I'm an eighth grader at Geopath and most of my service work was through my church work trip at uh, Union Church of Lake Bluff and I also taught um, kids how to swim at Montessori School of Lake Forest. Uh, hi, I'm Olivia Moore. Um, I did most of my work through counseling training at through um, Lake Forest Parks and Recreation Center. I was a CIT at um, Twigs Art Camp um, over this past year. I also volunteered um, at several different times at Burns Book Bank and Feed My Starving Children. Hi, I'm Finn Maxwell. I'm an eighth grader at Deer Path, and most of my service came from working at the rec center with some of the different summer camps they had, and I've also gone to feed my starving children multiple times. Thank you. Hi, I'm Olivia Adams. I'm an eighth grader at Deer Path, and most of my service work was done through Christ Church and um, through Horse Feathers Therapeutic Riding, where I was a leader and sidewalker. Um, I worked mostly at the library volunteering to help kids, and I also sometimes work at um, Feed My Starving Children. Hi, I'm Taryn Jordan. I do most of my service work um, at Northwestern Settlement House in Chicago. I also work for Feed My Starving Children and Bernie's Book Bank um, as often as I can. Hi, my name is Lily Sandor. Um, I'm an eighth grader at Deer Path. I volunteered at the Lake Forest Library where I worked in the kids section. And I also did web at my school, which is where we like walk welcome the fifth graders to Deer Path. Hi, I'm Elena Ashley. I'm an eighth grader at Deer Path and I got most of my service hours for working at Lake Forest Library in the kids section as well. And I volunteered at two camps, Vacation Bible School and Safety time. Hi, I'm Martina Sorti. 
I did both most of my volunteering hours at my church, as well as Gordon Center, and sometimes I go to save my starving children. Hi, I'm Grace Thomas. Um, I'm in the Lake Buff Middle School Environmental Club, and one of the things we did was turn um, old t-shirts into reusable bags for an Indian reservation. Hi, I'm Emma, and I did most of my service at the Lake Forest Library and in the kids section and at First Presbyterian Church in the Ramage Sale. Hi, my name is Josephine Janowix, and I'm an eighth grader at Deer Path. I do most of my um, work um, in the Holy Family Soup Kitchen in Waukegan, organized by the Church of St. Mary. I also do work with the Catholic Charities Self-Sufficiency Program um, in the library and as a web leader in my school. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Lawden. I do my I, oh, I go to Deer Path and I do my community service at my church, Bernie's Book Bank, Feed My Starving Children, and the library. Hello. <laughs> Hello, I'm Anton Walvoord. I am an eighth grader at Lake Forest Country Day School, and I've done most of the work that I'm most proud of at uh, a North Chicago school called Forest Hall, um, alongside Abby over there. Um, and I think it was really nice being able to make a connection with the second graders we work with there. Hello, I'm Abby Trejo, and most of my work also came from working with second graders at Forest Hall Elementary, and it was a program where we could just help them by doing little arts and crafts projects with them. And I was also a junior counselor at a STEM program there. I'm Libby Blodgett, and I'm an eighth grader at LCDS, and I've enjoyed doing work with Infant Welfare, which is an organization that helps kids get medicine whose families can't afford it. <laughs> my, my name is Mary Lee, and I'm an eighth grader at Lake Forest Country Day School. Most of my work was done. Um, I was a leader at my school for a food pantry in Waukegan, and I coordinated things and got some more volunteers from my school. Hi, I'm Renny Worth, and I'm also an eighth grader at Country Day, and the majority of my work is with veterans. Last summer, I went on an honor flight where I trained to be a guardian, and I took a veteran to Washington, D.C., and then I wrote an article about my experience that was published in Sheridan Road Magazine, and I've also been an art staff speaker at the Art Institute since I was little. Hi, I'm Mags Romer. Some of the service I've done was a work stay with Croya over the summer. I'm a web leader, and I've also done some service projects with my confirmation group at church. Hi, I'm Victoria Lang. I'm an eighth grader at Deer Path Middle School, and most of my service came from doing a or volunteering at a summer camp in the summer. Well, my name is Joseph Shawwalker. Um, I did most of my service up in South Dakota on Native American reservation. I also uh, helped out in uh, homeless culture and with a local charity group called Greenlands. Hi, my name is Shadath Jindal. I do most of my service work through Open Land and Bernie's Book Bank. Hi, my name is Brennan Riley. I do, I'm an eighth grader at Deer Path, and most of my service work comes from web leader and I volunteer at Gigi's Playhouse. Seventh graders and sixth graders, come on up. And fifth graders, anybody else? Seventh, sixth, fifth, and fourth graders. Where everybody else, come on up. Somebody's gotta be first. Ready, Ellie? All right, we're going in front of the mic. Hi, I'm Ellie Houston.
Austin. I'm a seventh grader at Deerpath Middle School. I do most of my volunteering at the soup kitchen in Waukegan, and I also help at the Lake Forest Library with the children's programs. Hi, my name is Audrey Waite. I'm a seventh grader at Lake Bluff Middle School, and I volunteer with the LVMS Environmental Club and help out around the community. My name is Alexandre Herrig, and I'm a sixth grader at the school of St. Mary. Um, I volunteer by playing the harp and selling handmade watercolor cards at local restaurants, grocery stores, and salons. I donate all the tips I receive to an organization called Water for Life Charity, which um, provides filters, water filters for families and villages in third world countries. Thank you. I'm Sophia Zarmella. From, I'm a sixth grader at DU Path Middle School. Um, I like to help out at um, Feed My Serving Children, Bernie's Book Bank, and Gordon Center. Hi, I'm Nastia Blova. I'm a sixth grader at Deer Path Middle School, and I'm part of a holiday tour by Lake Forest Dance Academy where we tour senior homes and perform for them to give them a little joy during their holiday season. Hi, I'm Teddy Chemers. I'm a fifth grader at School of St. Mary, and the majority of my volunteer work comes in helping in my school library. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brian Cooperman. I'm a fifth grader at School of St. Mary's, and most of my work is done at our and all, all my work is done at our school library. Hi, I'm Scott Weston, and I volunteer at a, a club at the Lake Bluffs Middle School called Reach Out, and we do a variety of different service projects to help our community. Hi, I'm Natalie Frecco. I'm a seventh grader at DPM, and most of my work comes from Glassa, where I play tennis with people who are immobile or wheelchairs, and then I also help out at Bernie's Book Bank. Hi, I'm Mason Kelly. I volunteer at Phil Hart for Kids, um, Speed My Starving Children, and the Buddy Program down at the Rec Center. Hi, I'm Julia Wright, and I volunteered at the Allendale's Girl home, Girls Home to help redecorate their living room, and I keep doing um, Feed My Starving Children, Bernie's Book Bank, and um, Gordon Center. Hi, I'm Ruslan Martin. I go to, I teach three-year-olds at my church, and I go to Feed My Starving Children, Bernie's Book Bank. Before I start, does anyone know where the recycling bin is? <laughs> I didn't throw away my glass bottle. You can give it to me, I'll take care of it. Uh, no, it's okay. Here, I can use them. It's my old lunch sack. grade student at Deer Path Middle School and I do magic for the senior citizen home and also um, I volunteer with Special Olympics swimming and food allergy awareness. We <laughs> really didn't plan William to do that but that was a great close. <laughs> so I think we owe all of these kids a rousing round of applause. <laughs> So with that, I want to thank everyone on my committee for their support on doing this. It's a big uh, project to pull off and had a lot of uh, great help from Rotarians. And I want to challenge every one of you that are not graduating seniors to try to uh, do the same things you've done last year and be at this event next year. We'd love to see you here again. So again, thank you very much. Congratulations to all the winners and the, and the families. Have a great summer, and we'll see you next year. That's the close of you.